how I do record my lessons when I did my online learning. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how I have recorded my lessons before when we had to close our school and do our online um, learning virtually. So just a background, last March, um, we had to close the school and um, all the learners had to study from home and for us teachers to start recording our lessons. So we actually started from recording our lessons. Then after that, after a month or two months, just to make sure that the children have settled in at home and even the teachers are also, um, you know, adapted and adjusted to um, doing their lessons or recording their lessons at home. Then we shifted to um, Zoom sessions or having live sessions using um, Zoom. Then after that, the next phase was to bring the students back to school. So now currently we're actually doing face-to-face -face lessons. So this is just for me to share to you what I have experienced teaching um, uh, virtually and have to go through this phase. So in, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how I did um, record my lessons using screencast Dalmatic. And I know that there are other platforms just like Screencastify. The reason why I don't use Screencastify because if you're going to sign up for the free account, it's only limited for five minutes, while screencast Dalmatic, it's actually 15 minutes long. Um, during the month of March and actually in April, Screencast-O-Matic did provide an offer for teachers that they will actually upgrade you if you email them. So uh, what I did was I emailed them directly and they automatically upgraded my account to a deluxe. So in the deluxe account is actually um, unlimited. So I was able to enjoy that. At the same time, I can even edit my recordings to um, through the screencast o -Matic. So now, because they actually deactivated that free, um, uh, what do you call it, free account for teachers, so I'm back to using, um, uh, using the uh, screencast o -Matic basic or the free account, which is actually 15 minutes um, limited. So now, here we go. So what I do is that, of course, I have to prepare my um, PowerPoint presentation, which I already did. So I have my presentation here. So once I'm done with that, so I'm, I'm actually teaching year two students. So I'm, once I'm done with that, then of course I um, type in my learning objectives, my success criteria, and the vocabulary that I do. Then what I would do next is that I would launch Screencast Omatic. Okay, so I'll just go to the website and type in Screencast Omatic. And then after that, I will just launch free recorder and it will appear just like so. Okay, by the way, as I am recording this video, I'm actually using Zoom, okay? So I did a Zoom hack. So if you wanna know how to actually record your lessons using Zoom, that's another way too. Um, and what I like about recording it with Zoom is that it doesn't have this, um, you know, what do you call that, imprint? You know, um, like for example, with screencast matic because I'm using the free, um, uh, free uh, recorder, they would actually have an imprint at the bottom of the record with their uh, logo screencast matic With Zoom though, it doesn't have that. So now that I found that way, so I actually use um, Zoom to record my lessons. So now what, what, as I have, um, what do you call that? Um, uh, launched the recorder from screencast o -Matic. So I would just use the screen. Now it would actually have this, um, what do you call that, like a um, uh, like border, just to show you like which part of your screen would you want to record. So I'm gonna go back to my um, PowerPoint presentation and then I'm gonna move that recorder there so that I can um, choose which part I just want to um, be recorded. So this will tell me that this is the size or this is just the exact um, window for, for the learners or for the record to be um, recorded. So once that's done, then I would start to record. So my lessons, so I would usually do voiceover 
So I just um, click that. It has a timer for you when to start. And then there you go. So it's just gonna um, start straight away record this piece here, okay? And what I do like is that, um, okay, if you see my arrow or my cursor here, when you actually record your lessons, it actually comes with this like rounded highlighter, like a pointer. So it does, that's quite like a good, um, uh, a good, uh, feature in using screencast or matting. Um, a few tips though um, that I do um, find when I did my recording previously is to make your audio or your sound clear. Um, so I'm not saying that you have to invest in a good mic. Actually when I started off because you know when we just close the school we just had to close the school and whatever technology that we have that's what we're gonna we did use. So I just used my um, built-in mic from my computer from my laptop and so far it was clear enough um, but it, if you have the time to like invest in a good mic I think that would be also good so as I'm recording this video too I'm actually using Boya um, mic then um, as much as possible not to record no more than 10 minutes long because you know the attention of the students do vary and I think that's the, the longest that they can, um, I mean, focus on a, on on a, on a screen, and try to put in a lot of visuals and even videos. What I did before is that um, I do play a YouTube um, clip, and then after that, I would just um, uh, uh, what do you call that? Use the border to just make sure that I'm just gonna use that together with my recording, and it works. Then after that, less text as much as possible. So, like I said, um, you know. Um, if you have the text, just like what I've done with this one, it's good to just do a voice over to it and maybe just add some um, explanation so that the students would um, be able to uh, grasp what um, you are teaching them. So I hope this is helpful. Um, if you would like to um, see how I would do my lesson, I am going to upload this sample lesson that I did with my class um, just a recording and um, I hope that would help you see how I did it with my classes before and by the way when you do pictures or when you want to let's say include videos in your recording you may do so by actually going to this uh, website um, these are very good websites that are very helpful when it comes to um, having free stock images okay what do you do is that you just go to pixel okay p-e-x-e-l-s and they have a wide range of um, wide range of videos or pictures and at the same time pixabay is also a good um, resource uh, website they actually also do provide a lot of um, uh, free pictures so you just type in pixabay and then there you go. So you just click onto that link and then it will bring you there. So my recording is still running. So once I'm done with the recording, so I would just stop it. And then after that, once I'm done, okay, so let's just go back to my PowerPoint. So once that's done, so I'll just click done or um, yeah, then I, straight away, if I want to upload it, I can do that or just save it in my computer. If you don't want to use up all the space in your computer, then you can actually straight away um, upload it to either to the, to the website, Screencast-O-Matic, YouTube, or even Google Drive. Um, this one, you can only access this if, like I said, you sign up for the deluxe, deluxe paid program or paid, um, uh, paid version. But if you're using the free version, just like what I use now, um, this one you can't actually edit the video. So that's how I do my lessons before. I hope this helps you. Um, thanks once again for visiting my channel. If you would like to know more about um, or some, get to know some more tips on how to do online teaching, please subscribe to this channel as well as clicking the like button if this helps you. Thanks so much. Bye.